y'all when, when am i gonna learn to stop buying so much stuff i don't know so we got a lot to go through let's get to it <laughs> Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely G and I'm back today with another video. So as I can see from the down below, we are finally once again back with another Shein haul. And y'all, this is a big one. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It's I got a lot over here. So we're gonna just jump right into it. You already know all the product information will be down in the description box below, along with the code so y'all can save a little extra more money when you're shopping on Shein on your next purchase. So let's hop right into it because we, we got a lot of stuff to go through. We got bags, we got clothes, we got shoes, we got accessories. So let me stop talking. Let's get right into it. Okay, y'all, so I got a lot of stuff in this haul. I'm gonna start off with the non clothes items first just to get these out the way and then we'll hop into the clothes part of the haul if you want to go to the clothes part of the haul i'll put the time step right here and down below so if you want to jump to that part you can so we're starting off with nails because you know it's not a sheen haul with me if i don't have some nails so i got this one kind of has like a little marble detail effect some of it and then like nudish on the other ones because y'all know i'm a nude sort of nail type of girl so these are pretty cute and they're long, but they're not super long. It's like a medium length. So I really like these. And then I also got another pair of nails because I never know what I'm really going to like until I see it in person. Ones, which they kind of like came out of their area a little bit, but I got these. And it has like the little gold detailing on the top. And then they're also just like that same pinkish nude sort of color. I really like both of these and then to that same point with nails i got some little nail files or emery boards or whatever this comes in a pack of five so you always need some of these when you're doing your fake nails because you got to rough it up all that good stuff same thing with nails i got a dip powder set by a brand they sent me one i did it on tiktok so y'all most likely haven't seen it on youtube but it does get a little messy at times so to help clean everything up and keep save as much as save as much of my dip powder as possible i just got this it's like something for the dip powder to go into so i'm not just like putting the powder over my nail on my desk and it getting everywhere it can go right into this little container and then i can pour it right back into the little thing that it comes in so this is really nice and then if you know me you know i hate having hangnails on my fingernails anything like that if my fingernail breaks and it doesn't break like nice i need something to be able to fix it up with so i already have some of these but i needed some more let me show y'all because i need one of these in every bag honestly and truthfully so i got like two more of these little things and it's like a nail kit so it comes with everything you need to upkeep your nails i got nail clips a little nail file tweezers just everything that you need a little mini scissors but like this is like one of my bag staples i'm going to have one of these in every single bag because i don't know i just can't the feeling of a hangnail i just don't like it personally so i got two of these because I have more bags that they need to go into that's all that i got for the nails part of this and then i got some jewelry because i'm not really really big into jewelry i used to wear earrings all the time when i was younger but then when i started playing sports i stopped wearing them because i would lose them and i was getting tired of losing them so i don't i don't spend that much on jewelry because i don't want to lose it and spend all that money on it so i just got this cute set comes with a lot of just like little earrings that so it's like it doesn't it's not really a stud vibes but it's not a full hoop so just got some of these some things that i can go in between switch it up use something different for different events because now i'm working in the event industry so i need to look put together i need to have some earrings switching it up all that good stuff and like i said if you know me i usually if i'm gonna wear earrings i'm gonna wear big hoops and sometimes you're not gonna wear big hoops to work or something or big hoops like a formal event you need something smaller something classier but to that point of hoops i also did get some hoops so for some reason none of them are in the little box or the little um cardboard that it comes in but they're in this bag so i guess i'll just take them out 
I don't know why they would send it like this, but it's just another set of hoops. I don't really know how to take them all out at this right now, but uh oh. But it's just different types of hoops, which I love. Cause like I said, if you know me, you know if I'm going out or if it's just a regular day and I'm wearing earrings, I'm gonna wear hoops. So this is just a huge set of hoops, different sizes, different types, all of that. And I'm gonna love it. So another piece of jewelry that I got was some anklets because I don't really typically wear anklets a whole lot, but I did get one last year when I was in school. It was just like an elastic brown anklet. Some, if you saw it, you saw it. If you didn't, you didn't. But with having a niece, <laughs> she pulled it off of my ankle and it broke. And I really, now that I don't have it, I miss having it. So I got something similar. I thought this was just gonna be multiple types, but for some reason they sent like, she had just sent this really long string. So I guess I'll just like double it, triple it or something on my ankle. And then I got me a little, Anklet. And I like these ones. I've I've had other ones from Shein that like clip into it kind of like if it was a bracelet. But I don't know. I like these a little better because it doesn't feel like it's really going to break unless you like fully pull on it compared to something that's like more structured, you know? That's all that I got for jewelry. And then I got this hat. I'm not really sure if I'm going to wear this because sometimes my hair doesn't really allow for me to really wear hats like that. But I want it to get a trucker hat without spending all the money on a trucker hat. So I just got this little trucker hat from Shein. It has some hearts on it, just different shades of hearts and it's brown. So it should be cute. My hair really isn't in a style right now to be putting this on, but I don't know, it's cute and it looks like it should fit. And it has a snap sort of back to it. This is cute as long as I don't mess or dirty it up because it's white, but it feels nice. Like it doesn't feel like anything too, too crazy, but it's cute. And then I got some little Tata covers. It's from their Lovelet collection on Shein. And I really love these cause these are my skin color. I have some already, but they're like not my shade or my tone. So I really like these. And the girls on TikTok were saying that these types are good. So I don't know, we'll see how it is. I'll report back to y'all on TikTok or in the comment section if y'all wanna know. Then I'm going on a really fun, fun trip coming up soon. I'm super excited to vlog that whole experience for y'all and post about it. So I ended up getting some packing cubes. I don't have any packing cubes. I've been using my sister's packing cubes when traveling, but I wanted to get some of my own. So we're gonna test these out. It comes with like three or four cubes and with like a laundry pouch inside of it as well. So I'm gonna test these out. I'm gonna see how they are. If I like them, y'all will hear from it on Shein or in the comment section. If I don't like them, if I don't like them, or if I don't have a good experience with them, y'all won't hear about them no more. <laughs> then I actually got two bags from Shein. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out my style, and I don't really want to spend a whole lot of money on things without knowing what my style is. So I just got this cute like tan and brown sort of bag. I will say she and did ship it in a bag, which I mean they typically do, but since I had a lot of stuff in this order, it kind of got like a little dented right there. So hopefully that won't be nothing too, too crazy. They did put a bag inside to hold its structure, but like it didn't really do the best job, but it's really cute. It doesn't say anything on the front. Well, no, it does. It says Chantel and Katie, but it's super small. So it's not nothing that's like too, too out there and noticeable. And then it comes with this little gold detailing thing to stay on the outside, which is really cute. Cause like I said, if you know me, you know, I'm a gold details girl. It also does have a zipper on the top. Cause I know a lot of bags on Shein don't have zippers on the top. But for me and just security reasons, I need me a zipper on my bag. I can't be out here with an open bag personally. And then there's there's not really much on the inside, which is kind of the downside to this bag. If you know me, you know I'm someone that just, I'm the mom of my group, so I need the lotion, the hand sanitizer, the brush, all the things that your friend group would typically need to put in a bag, but they typically forget. So I like compartments in my bags, but this one doesn't really have much of anything. It just has one pocket right there, and that's about it. 
and then it has this pocket on the outside but i personally wouldn't put much in here maybe like lip gloss or something like something that i need quick access to so i don't know but overall it is a cute bag and i think it feels sturdy compared to like other Shein bags i've had this feels like it wouldn't give me a huge issue because of this gold reinforcement on the handles so i don't know i think my biggest thing with Shein bags has just been don't over stuff it because me personally you know I'm, I'm good for over stuffing a bag i will say that i'm very good for over stuffing a bag and last but not least i have one more bag this one is this just cute black crocodile detailing sort of bag and instead of the gold detailing like how i said there's silver on this because depending on the outfit that i wear this with the outfit that i think i'm gonna wear this with i'm gonna have silver jewelry and not gold so you know you gotta when it comes to those types of things you just got you gotta match your metal so it's really cute it has this one zipper here on the back if you want to fit like oh is this open over me it has this one zipper on the back for like for me i would put like i said like lip gloss or like sanitizer something quick that you need to get to right there it also does have a zipper on the top which i know i love and they put some paper on the inside and it also does come with a crossbody shoulder strap if you want that as well now this one has compartments so this might become a bag that i wear more often to like work or something but let me take this out but it has two compartments right there on the top these two little pocket compartments and then on this other side it has like two zippers so it has this which is like a pocket but then it has this which is a zipper pocket then that pocket's in the middle and then it also has this pocket right here so there's a lot of compartments in this bag so me and this bag might be getting along very very well and then the only other thing that comes with is just this little cheetah or leopard i don't even know but this sort of animal print is supposed to tie on like a bow onto the outside i don't know if i will or won't use it it depends on what the outfit is that i'm wearing it with because i don't want it to clash too too much but that is all for the non-clothes portion of this haul i'm gonna hop into all the clothes now okay so this is the first item it's just this pink hot pink sort of crop top shirt that i have on it's really cute it has an open back so it's just a little crisscross so you will need someone's help or you got to know how to tie the back if you're doing this of course i'm not wearing the correct <laughs> undergarment so you wouldn't wear a bra like this you probably wear tape or anything else that just covers the front but you wouldn't wear like a regular bra since the back is open i don't really have any complaints for this i would just wear this like you can wear it to brunch the girls with some i wouldn't wear jeans like this so i'll probably wear like some lighter color jeans and maybe pair it with some heels or you could wear it on a date night or something i would also pair this with like white sort of jeans or jeggings or something and i like the crop of it like it's not too cropped where like if i put my hands up it will turn into a bra or something but then it's also not too too long but then it's also sort of still keeping it classy with the arms because it's not too revealing I guess but then you also have the ooh, look at the back don't don't play with me you know so it shows it shows a little skin without it being too too much but yeah so I like this but like I said for this haul I'm not gonna be putting on or styling it with outfits because this haul is for a trip that's coming up soon so y'all will see how I style it in that video but let's move on to the next shirt so this is the next shirt it's just this basic satin black button up top I really like this because I've been seeing the girls styling things on TikTok and YouTube and the power of a button down silk shirt, like you can wear this if you're going professional, you could tuck it in sort of vibe. Me personally, the way I plan on wearing it, if I do end up wearing this outfit on my trip, is I plan on having it just like this and maybe tying it up a little bit giving it a cute vibe and maybe unbuttoning a button up at the top or whatever but the versatility of a button up top like at first you think okay it's just professional or something like that but if you know how to put a fit together you could really put this together what i will say is i got this in a size medium and she'll be big like this looks like something that my brother or my dad could wear or something like 
there's all this extra room right here which I mean to be fair it is nice because you don't want something that's super tight on you and it does give you more versatility in a sense but she's a big shirt like I don't I don't know but at the same time for the vibe that I'm going for it kind of does work because I want this shirt to be something that I could wear more casual and not necessarily professional or anything but I'm just letting you know for sizing wise if you're going to be getting this just know that it is a little big so if you're going for a tighter look size down a size or two <laughs> but yeah pretty simple and it's not see-through at all I got bright lights on and everything and that was something I was really scared of but it's not see-through at all it comes all the way down so it's kind of like Kylo covers your butt the buttons are doing what they got to do I really like it it's a nice basic to have in your closet this is the next shirt don't mind if it's wrinkly or anything like that y'all see I'm pulling it straight out the bag and putting it straight on it's an unboxing for real, for real. but this is just this oversized teeth I actually got this in a size large and it's really oversized so I don't know I would say go with your normal size but me personally I'm not I don't really like too too big of clothes but it's a graphic tee but there's nothing on the front everything is on the back the back says miracles happen every day i don't know if y'all can see because of the lighting if y'all can't see it i'll insert a picture but it's a really cute basic shirt i got it to do like a streetwear sort of style so i'm excited for this outfit we'll see if it actually comes or not um if the outfit comes together or not but really basic the shirt feels really good super high quality it's not like cotton they're stretched to the shirt as well. It sort of feels like a mix between a cotton shirt and like an athletic shirt. Cause it's like stretchy, but it doesn't feel like super heavy or anything as cotton possibly could. So I know I really like this shirt. You could wear it regular all the way down. Me personally, I'll probably pick the back up and let it drape over the front like this. You could tie it in the front. You could tie it to the side however there's really a lot of options with this or you could fully fully customize it possibly cut off the shoulders or the sleeves and all that good stuff but i don't know this is really cute i'm excited for this little streetwear outfit that i got in my head that i'm gonna put together oh yeah so this is the next item it's kind of like this sports jacket crop top and it has this zipper on the front so you can zip it down if you want to show a little chest or you can zip it up just have this nice cute sort of vibe and it also comes with these thumb holes as well this is in a size large y'all and the sleeves are i wouldn't say a bit tight like it's fitted but if i had any larger arms than this it would be tough for sure which is interesting to me because i got a size large so that it could fit a little bigger and it wouldn't be too too tight on me because this would be like a travel sort of outfit for me so i didn't want anything too constricting but the fact that i had sized up and the arms still an issue is mind-blowing to me but i did size up for that reason so i don't know maybe it worked out but if you're someone who kind of size like me you would get a size large in stuff and your arms are larger than this i would size up because it's gonna, it's gonna be tough trying to get into it unless you're going for a more sleek and tighter look. And then another thing that I will say is it also has this like keyhole back sort of thing, which is really cute, I will say that, but I wasn't expecting that. I don't know if that was in the like information or the review or whatever, but I don't know, it's cute. I just wasn't expecting that keyhole back in there. I was expecting it to be fully covered. So that kind of, I won't say limits where I could wear it, but I don't know. It's cute still, I'm gonna keep it because I like it. Um, I will say as far as if you're trying to get this for like going to the gym or something, this is definitely not moisture wicking sort of material. It's something that like will show sweat stains for sure and is making me hot right now. Now I do got lights on and all that, so that may be the reason why, but for working out purposes, I don't know, this isn't necessarily material that I would want to work out and it would start to feel really sticky and like everything would be on you. But other than that, just for like leisure wear, it is pretty cute. I can see myself wearing this 
with a lot of different things. Okay, y'all, so this is the next item. This actually came in a set. So it's just this sort of like velvet velour sort of pants. And then the sweat jacket to match. And the zipper does work. It does go all the way down and come all the way back up. And it doesn't have any writing or anything like that. But y'all, this is really cute. I like it. Now, I will say, I wish it had pockets. Like, if you're not going to have pockets in the pants or in the top, I don't know, it just feels really weird to me to not have pockets in this. So that's the only thing that I will say. And it doesn't seem to be see-through right now. But what I will say, I don't know if y'all be able to tell from on camera, but the tag is right here. And I can see the tag in the mirror, but I can't see the colored underwear that I'm wearing. So I don't know if it's because I'm wearing a good color or if the pants aren't see-through. So that's what I will say. I'm not too, too sure if it's see-through. The top doesn't seem see-through or anything like that, but it's cute. There is a little extra fabric right here, but it's nothing too, too crazy. Since it is a sweatsuit, I feel like it's, like it's fine to have a little extra baggage. For fitting and sizing though, I will tell y'all, I'm typically a large in pants. Large in pants are a size 17 for jeans at Coles. I don't know about my number size anywhere else, but I know I get 17 size jeans at Coles. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry for that. The battery just died on me. But like I was saying, I got this in a size extra large because typically me in in sweats or joggers or anything like that or anything like that, it always fits like leggings. And I just could feel like these ones are gonna be tight and feel like leggings. So I got it in extra large instead of my normal size, which is a large. And for me to have sized up in it, y'all see the fit. It still sort of definitely feel fits like leggings and not really like there's no bagginess in it except up here so it doesn't really give jogger feel so i will say if you are a thicker girl than me this extra large like size up if you don't want it to fit super super tight on you because this isn't as relaxed as i thought it would be considering the fact that i did size up but other than that it's nothing too too crazy it's cute it's nice it's not see-through there for the inside there is no like fur that velour there's no velvet on the inside so it's comfortable like you won't feel too too hot in it but i don't know i really like this this could be really cute i think it would have been even cuter if it had pockets but it's okay i'm not gonna get on sheen about that you can't you can't win at everything <laughs> but i don't know, i like this it's definitely something that i will wear out for sure okay so this is the next item it's just these little athletic pants these are really letting me down. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I got this in a size large and like it fits, but I it was a workout to put the pants on. <laughs> and the other reason why these are gonna get returned outside of that is y'all let, let me have a heart to heart with all the females on here. We need to talk. Please let me know down in the description, not in the description. Let me know down in the comment section. Why is this booty scrunch thing in workout pants like so big now like i understand we trying to accentuate but me personally i'm not into wedgies and when i see it it just gives me like girl do you not have a wedgie right now like does that not hurt like pop off you know but as someone who played volleyball and all that sort of stuff having like stuff in your butt it's uncomfortable so i don't know how y'all be doing it and i tried like when i was going through sheen i tried so hard to find something that didn't have this booty scrunch in it and this one does and on top of the fact that like it's it needs to be like a size bigger like a half size or so bigger it don't look right so let me show you how it look like i just had to get out i just had to give y'all that preface that preface before i showed y'all <laughs> so i'm like do it don't even look like a booty scrunch <laughs> it's just this little small area right here that's supposed to look like a booty scrunch and it don't it's not doing what it's supposed to do so I don't like it. Me personally, it doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know why this thing is a trend, but it'll be getting returned because having this random line on the back, it is not like, at least if it's gonna be there, do what you were meant to do. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. So it's gonna get returned. But other than that, I do like the way it looks. It is squat proof. It comes up as high waist. So it's really nice. If this would be cute, if you wanted to do like, pants and bra for working out sports bra for working out 
but just me personally it needs to be like a half size bigger because it's just not it's just not giving what it needs to give in the booty scrunch i just can't i can't do athletic pants with the booty scrunch or athletic leggings with a line in the front it's just not gonna vibe with me so these are no and we'll be getting returned for sure okay so here's the next item it's just these basic biker shorts in this cute brown color really like them like i just told y'all i don't do shorts or athletic leggings or anything like that with a line in the front i don't know i just don't really like it and these don't i looked high and low for some that didn't have a line in the front so i really like these and i don't know they're just basic they go all the way around not too short because as someone who did play volleyball like sometimes shorts biking shirts just be a little too short for me personally especially if they're gonna roll up or anything like that so these ones are a nice little length like it's not too too long it's not too too short oh yeah so this is the next item like i said do not mind the styling i'm not putting outfits together i'm just trying this stuff on but i got this nice little i guess i don't know what the word is for this but this duster sort of cardigan it goes all the way down which i really really like it goes all the way down basically almost to my ankles but it's really at just my calves which i really like it also has some pockets on the side if you want to put something in it. and they're actually pretty deep so like you could put something in here and it shouldn't fall out for the most part but i really like this it's nice if you want to lounge in if you want to wear it out sort of vibe i don't know we have to see if i'm gonna return this or not it depends on the outfit but i really like this i probably won't because this could be really cute in like the spring especially if you live in a state where it's still chilly in the spring which georgia can be like that sometimes so i probably most likely would definitely keep this so i could wear it with like you could i, I don't know I, i'm i'm really into all white recently so all white fit with this as just like a touch of color could be really cute i don't know or you could just pair it with some light blue jeans and a nice top or whatever but i don't know i'm really feeling this Oh right, y'all, here is the next item. It's just these tan khaki sort of shorts. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, these are from the Shein men section. If you're not new to my Shein hauls, y'all know if I'm gonna be getting shorts, especially shorts like this, where I want them to be a little bit more relaxed, some more for like streetwear, or just something comfortable to be in, I'm gonna get them from the men section because they're typically longer. I don't like too, too short of shorts, honestly, truthfully and i don't know they're comfortable they're not too tight as well like it goes down but it's not tight i know if i shop with women's shorts it's usually going to be a little shorter it might stop right here which is a vibe for some people but for me personally like i said i like my shorts to be a little longer because these thick thighs need to be contained um <laughs> just so because i know me walking around things are gonna roll up already so i like to compensate for that by having something that's longer but I really do like this. It's nice and comfortable. Fits well. Nothing on the bag. Nothing too, too crazy. And this has the black jawstrings if you want to tie it up or something. But I like these. I'm probably definitely going to be keeping these for sure. Because it's just a nice basic to have in your closet for like a day when you want to run out to the store or something. And you don't. It's too hot or something like that. You just want to put something chill and comfortable on. Oh y'all, here is the next item. It's just these like scrunched, detailed khaki tan pants and they're pretty cute i'm not even gonna lie i was second guessing them at first it was kind of going out of my comfort zone to get them but i was like let me try it out i'm gonna say i still don't know if i'm gonna keep these or return these though just because like i said it's not really my style i feel like this would look really cute with like someone who's a sneakerhead or someone who wears a lot of sneakers if you know me you know i don't really wear sneakers like that but i don't know you can dress this up with some heels i could see it working for some heels y'all see me me looking for pockets there are no pockets in it um which is another bummer for sure sizing wise let me already tell y'all i did size up in this this is an extra large not a large and it fits like just right like if i if this was a large it would have been real tight if it could even go on so you definitely want to size up in this for sure because like there's there's not there's not much space to be forgiving of this is what it looks like all the way around. It does have a little scrunch in the back, but it's not too, too crazy. But this is what it looks like. And this, this little drawstring, it had me fooled because I thought it was for the waist because it couldn't go in a little bit on the waist. It could go a little bit more in on the waist, 
for me i would like for it to go in a little bit more but this scrunch is actually for this top portion so i don't really know i guess if you want like a b sort of look you could do that i don't know why else i would want this here but i don't know i need to learn how to either tuck it in or do a cute little bow or something with it or maybe you could like take it to the back and do a bow on the back or something i don't know but these are cute like i said i'm not sure if i will or won't return these because it is out of my comfort zone but maybe that's why i should keep them so that i can step out of my comfort zone and try different types of things i just don't know what i will for real for real wear with this like i have outfits in my head that i could put together but I don't know it'll be different for me so okay y'all so this is the next item is just these nice wide leg or straight leg ripped jeans y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm so excited that these fit because if you're not new here and you've watched some other hauls from me you would know that i've tried jeans from shein before and they don't be fitting but i did my research this time i looked at the sizing chart i looked through all the reviews and i finally got the right size i didn't have to size up in this though it is an extra large but they fit, which I'm super excited about. What I will say is because my thing do be thinging, there is this extra gap in the back. So I would need to either get it altered or I just need to make sure that I'm wearing a belt with this for sure. But that, I wouldn't be able to wear it with no belt if I don't get it altered. Other than that, it's really cute. The, um, the rips come at a nice level on my legs. And for someone who like, I personally always like my jeggings. I like things that fit on me. I'm not really big into oversized or wide leg, straight leg, anything like that. For this to be straight leg, I will say I really do like it. I feel like it flattered me very well, especially since it comes in on the waist still. And the straight leg or like the ankle portion of it isn't too wide to where it feels like super big for me personally. Like it's still, really nice so i like these there's nothing really on the back or anything they're just basic blue jeans and they fit really nice i'm actually, i'm really excited about this like this is my blow and i was really expecting if anything didn't fit this haul it was going to be these for sure but they fit so i feel like i gotta keep them because i've been trying for some time to get jeans from shein that fit and i finally found one okay so this is a key key and i was a this is not Shan's fault. This is my fault. This is a, just just to start off. This is a size small, and I know I, you see me. I don't have no business wearing anything that is a size small. But I was really in love with the dress, and they didn't have it in my size. And I was thinking, I didn't know the dress would be constructed the way it was. I was thinking that because of the way that my body is shaped, it would still work out, but it doesn't because like literally, if I decided to wear this, my underwear and all of my business will be out for sure. I thought because my upper half of my body is small and it's my bottom half, it's my bottom half that's larger or my upper body is a medium, but my upper body is smaller than my lower body. I thought I'd be able to make a small work, but I could not because I was thinking the back is out. Let me just show you. The back is out. So I was thinking, okay, since there's all of this, I can finesse the upper part to where it can fit. You know, it would just be a little short, smaller on the sides like how y'all see it. Which, okay, I already knew, but I thought the bottom would have been a little more flowy to where it would have went all the way down. But child, this don't go down at all. Like this, this, this is it, <laughs> this is it. And I would not be able to wear this out of nowhere unless I was maybe like just for pictures. If I were to be doing pictures somewhere, maybe I could, but to wear this to an event, no. Like that's just, that's just trying to give everybody a show that we not giving in. And also it does look like it was returned. It has like some black stuff on it right there, which isn't necessarily Shein's fault. If it was a return, it's whoever decided to wear it and return it. But at the same time, they could have done um, some sort of control, you know, but it's okay. I just know this is, this was definitely a no. This was just a lesson learned to stick to your size and to not just be buying stuff just cause it's cute and it don't fit you. Cause I, I can't wear this nowhere. Okay, y'all, so here's the same dress, but in a size that is supposed to fit me. This is actually the same dress, different color, size large. It's really cute, color-wise. Very beautiful. It's like this nice T 
teal it's like in between of blue and green depending on what you consider blue or green it's really cute but i'm not sure i'm not sure if this is a dress that if i went to an occasion and there was a dj playing nice music that i would feel comfortable enough to want to get up and dance because y'all see i'm still wearing the shorts i just feel like maybe this is just how it how the dress is but it's just a little too risky for me like i would need in order for me to feel comfortable in this i would need like some tape right here to secure it down but because of my thighs if i'm sitting down getting up it's gonna move anyway in any wrong move like that's it any wrong move so i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this but this is the size large so maybe i'll take it back maybe it's not me maybe it is just the style dress that it is it's just not something that i'm personally comfortable with but other than that i really do like this dress i want it or i really do like this color i wanted this dress to work out but it's i don't know it's not something that i would feel comfortable getting up and dancing and if you know me if i'm at a function i'm going to get up and dance about to the music or something because like you know i, I went out to have a nice time so i don't know this will probably this will definitely be getting returned not even probably it'll be good in return because it's just not it's it's just too risky like it's not revealing right now for our pictures if i want to stand and take a picture or something but it's just it's revealing in the sense like it's just risky one wrong move that could be it okay y'all so this is the last dress that i have and finally we have something that actually works so same style dress but this is different it's not the same dress as that but it's the same style of dress but this one is all gold and it's cute it goes down all the way like dang near to my ankle so i will say just be aware of that but if you're a tall girl you know it's gonna go down super good if you're a short girl i don't really know i'm about five three and a half just to let y'all know so if you're a shorter girl you will definitely have to wear heels with it if you're a taller girl you'll be straight i really like this y'all now i will say this does show a lot of leg more leg than i have shown previously with like any other dresses sort of but this one like i've already done like a little move around test in it i can dance i can shuck i can jive but it's not going to show everything that i don't want anybody seeing so i think this is cute my mom suggested that i possibly put like either do like a little pin or sew this right here just so that can be a little extra form of protection or do like a brooch or something so i don't know i'll look into that but other than that i think it's really cute let me show you the back the back is the same of course i'm not wearing the right or quick undergarment you would have to go um braless with this and do like a stick on bra or something so but it's out in the back and it just has the little tie so you'll need someone to help you tie it up so it can be nice and cute and even and i will say i told y'all in other videos before where i've tried on dresses that this neckline is not something that i really like but it's been growing on me recently i've been seeing myself wear more dresses with it so i do like it it's cute I don't know, it's giving like golden gloves, giving golden girl. I like it and I think it complements my skin color very nicely, especially because you already know I love gold. I love accenting with gold. So to have like a whole gold dress is like, it's very on brand for me. <laughs> so I like it. It's cute. I think this is definitely going to be the one for sure. I don't think I'm going to be returning this one. It's definitely going to be going on the trip for sure. Okay, y'all, so the next thing that I have are some sneakers. Y'all know I have tried jean shoes before, and I wanted to give it another try, another go around, and I really like these. These fit, I'm not sure what size they are. I'll put that information in the description box down below, but it's most likely like a nine, most likely, but I don't know, check the description box to know for sure. But these are really cute. They're just some nice, basic black sneaker that you could wear. It doesn't really say anything on it. On the tag in the front, I'm not sure if y'all can see, but it says fashion, but because it's all white, you really can't see it. Nobody's going to be able to see it. I could barely see it from where I'm standing right now, but I'm going to keep these because if you know me, I'm not a person that likes white shoes because I just think white shoes mean that they're going to get dirty, mean that I can't wear them, mean that I'm, I'm going to need to throw them away or replace them. But these, because they're cheap and they're from Shein, I don't mind getting them dirty and they're just nice like they're not too too crazy they don't look like they're trying to mimic any sort of fancier shoe or like a jordan or a nike or like anything but they're just nice 
white shoes that can be worn casually or can be worn if you want to go work out or something. If I was working out, I'll probably put like a another foot pad in there, a foot, a shoe insole because it's not like cushiony. I like my shoes to be cushiony. It's more flat and I'm not a flat foot person. But other than that, these are really nice. I would suggest them if you're trying to get some shoes off of Shein, you know, I love me some Shein shoes. I've never had an issue with Shein shoes to this day. And y'all, let me tell y'all, Shein has stepped up the game because if you saw my first Shein shoe haul, you knew all the shoes, even the sneakers, came in bags. I think only my heels came in boxes. But all of my sneakers and shoes that I'm showing y'all today all came in boxes, which is a big step up. So shout out to Shein for the quality and just, you know, giving us something better, something newer, you know? I really, I appreciate that they came in boxes instead of bags. Okay, so here's the second pair of sneakers that I got from Shein. Really cute, just this nice little like tan color and khaki tan color. And then it comes with this brown detailing on the tongue and then this like teal-ish detailing on the back. Really cute, it's kind of giving chunky sneaker vibes without them being chunky sneakers. And they're really lightweight. It sort of also kind of gives me vibes of almost like a Jordan, or I, I'm not really big into shoes y'all, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it gives me vibes of like the sneakers, the popular sneakers that people wear all the time. But like I said, I'm not a big sneaker head. I don't really wear sneakers like that. So it's not really an investment that I want to make at the moment, but this is a nice like shoe for me to try and wear and figure out if those are my style and if I want to invest in them in the future, which is why I like Shein. It's a good just base layer to figure out if you want to spend money. So I really do like these. These are the same size as the other ones and they kind of do feel like they're a little, like a tad bit big, but I think if I went a half size down, it might have been too small. I think it's just, I just need to make sure that I tie them when I wear them. But these are really cute. I'm super excited to wear these. They're nice. It's like something different. And they don't say anything on it, which I love. If I'm gonna get all brand sneakers, I don't want them to say nothing on it. They just like this little tag right here. I don't know if you can see. There's this little tag. Oop. There's this little tag on the side of this, which is just the size. I'm gonna cut that off though. <laughs> but other than that, it doesn't say anything on it, which I love. If I'm gonna be wearing all brand shoes, I don't need you saying nothing crazy on it. <laughs> like let it just let it just be sneakers. <laughs> so yeah, I like these. I would definitely suggest getting these if you're trying to get into sneakers or if you want other sneakers to wear. These are gonna be really cute for sure. Okay, y'all. So these are the last shoes. I am wearing <laughs> my socks with them, but that's because I just like to wear socks when I'm trying on stuff. But I was really excited for these, but I think it's a me thing, it's not a Shein thing. I think I got a size too big. I don't know if I'm the only person on the earth, but I have like a size for sneakers, a size shoe for boots, a size, a size shoes for sandals. And I think I got this in my sneaker size and not my sandal size, which is smaller. So I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's like all this space in the back of the shoe. But I really do still like these, so I see myself returning them for the right size. But they're just these nice platform sandals. They attach at the ankle, which if I'm gonna be wearing sandals, I really like something that attaches at the ankle. Let me bring it up closer so y'all can see the details. They're just that cute little bling, bling bedazzle on the top and then on the sides as well. It's really cute. So like I said, I do think I am gonna return these, but I'm gonna return it so that I can get a size that fits me because these are really cute. I can see myself wearing this when it gets a little warmer outside, just to just chill, walk around in, whatever. It's really cute. Okay, y'all. So that is the end of the Shein haul. Hope y'all enjoyed it. This was rather large. So if you made it to the end, thank you. I think this is a pretty successful haul. If I do so myself, there are some things that I have to return, but for the most part, everything pretty much worked. The only things that didn't work were things that I kind of knew in my head beforehand while purchasing it that okay i'm not too too sure how i feel about it but i'm really excited for this haul i'm really excited for y'all to see what this haul is for because it's for it, it's paying off and it's because of y'all that i'm able to do this haul and go where i'm going 
with this haul so i'm just super excited but if y'all want to stay tuned so y'all see when that vlog comes out the trip that i'm going on so you're up to date with everything make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and so that you can see where i'm going before it posts on youtube make sure you follow me on instagram and tiktok at i'm sincerely dream because you know i post on there way more often y'all get things a few weeks before they post on youtube so you want to be on there if you want to see what this is for before you catch it on youtube and if you're about to make a Shein purchase and you want to save a little bit more coins, I do have a code that's a reference code. It will be down in the description box below to show you how to work it. And there's going to be a video on the side of the screen that shows you how to enter it in. But my code so that you could save more money off on your next Shein purchase is US39248S. It's us 39 two four eight s and this y'all is actually a stackable discount code so you can use my code and you can use a coupon code from any of your favorite influencers to save even more coins off on your next purchase you can't do that no other way so i'm just trying to save y'all to save some money i use my code myself so y'all better hop on it if you're trying to save some more coins on your next shein purchase but i love y'all thank y'all for watching this video and truly from the bottom of my heart i really want to say thank you for supporting my channel thank you for supporting my shein hauls like this because like i said where i'm going with this y'all would like without y'all it would not be possible so i really want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart i love y'all so so much and i see y'all in the next video which will be the vlog well it'll probably be me getting ready for the trip but the vlog is coming up soon so stay tuned i love y'all so so much and my name is sincerely Dre, and i'll see y'all in the next video bye